And she brought with her her fiance. Yes. She's in her twenties. He's in his late thirties. She's a one race. He's a another race. I'm not making this black and white. Because the movie is about interracial tones. It's not really about black and white. It's about two different cultures finding love and coming together. And let me tell you, everybody is upset. Her mother, she's upset initially, but she comes around, she comes around the fastest. Her father, played by Spencer Tracy, well, he's, he's upset all the way to the very end of the movie. Her parents, his parents, they're just as upset as her parents. The maid, of all people, the maid is upset. <laughs> and then there's the monster. That's clergy law. The clergyman is upset. He, he, he's, he's happy for her. He says, I'm not glad you're getting married. But I've got to tell you, I can't perform the wedding. So they all that they will not be accepted in society. The movie ends after everybody has a say, with Spencer Tracy coming and saying it does not matter what everyone else may think. All that matters is that they love each other. And then finally, the two families, they sit down and they have dinner. Now, on the surface, this movie is about race. But there's many layers. And when you start to peel back the layers, one of them is in regards to love and acceptance. Our theme for the month is hospitality. And you cannot show anybody any kind of hospitality unless you love them.
and we should be showing hospitality everywhere we go. Not just on Sunday morning, but at the grocery store, on our jobs, in our homes, opening our personal space for the benefit of others. We are living in a time of such hatred and of such violence. And I believe that, yeah, we need to do something about the violence. I'm not dismissing that. But when you take the guns away, there's still that hate. Yes. So you have to address the hate. You have to address the violence. It's not
passage of scripture is in all four gospels. Yes, it is. And if you want to get the whole story, you need to read it in all four gospels. Because the believer version, it leaves a few things out. Mark tells us that when Jesus saw them, he felt that they were sheep. Without a shepherd. And if you know anything about sheep, they kind of don't. Sheep don't know that if I eat all the grass here, I need to go over here where there's more grass. They'll stay right here where there is no grass. Sheep, if they go over on their back, their stomach fills up with gases and they die. Sheep have no way of defending themselves. If a lion, a tiger, a bear, or a comes at them. And when Jesus sees the multitude, he says they are sheep. Without a shepherd. So Jesus does what Jesus does best. For the time being, he puts his own needs aside and he tends to the needs of those that are in the multitude. This is a free life. If you want to be hospitable, Sometimes you need to lay your own stuff down mm -hmm. and put it aside mm -hmm. in order to minister to someone else. It doesn't mean that you're sleeping under the rug. It doesn't mean that you forget about it. It just means that for the time being, someone else needs a word from the Lord. For the time being, someone else needs. And I'm going to put mine to the side. Just to the side, just for a moment. So Jesus has been teaching and healing in the disciples' home. I love the disciples. <laughs> they didn't always get it right. And they say, Jesus, you know, it's getting late, it's dinner time. You've been standing and you've been teaching and, you know, you've been healing them, but they get hungry. I, I think we need to send them into the village. So that they can buy some food. And Jesus looks at them and he says, Guess who's coming today? You feed them. And the disciples again, they looked at all the things that were impossible. Scripture tells us they were 5,000 men. If you add the women and children, it's somewhere between 15 to 20,000 people. And they calculated, they figured out that to feed all these people would be at least eight months worth of wages. Now, I don't know about you, but I don't get paid eight months to get rid of babies. I live from paycheck to paycheck from month to month. And then, you know, how are we going to carry all this food? And then, and who's going to have There's no 24 hours. to feed them. 